Okay, guys, so um, today we're going to do a little drive in review of this Coleman or Realtree or DK100 go kart. And this is, and um, now I remember the speed governor on this thing, so it goes about 20 or 25 miles an hour. And that's pretty fast for a little Coleman go kart like this one. But, uh, the reason why it looks like that is because, well, for some reason, uh, I don't know, but it just looks like that. <laughs> but the only problem with the go-kart is that whenever when I pull start it, because I haven't ridden this thing in like four or five months, and we finally got it running today, or a couple of days ago. But the only problem with it is that whenever when I start it, it dies immediately. But when I keep like pulling it, it just starts building more uh, energy. And that's why, well, first of all, it's like really cold. It's like 48 degrees, so that's why, uh, that's why like, you have to like let it warm up a little bit. And that's what exactly what I did because it, it, it wasn't running very good. But then, like, I came, I came back like 30 seconds later, and it was running perfectly fine. And then I went off. So we're going to start this thing up and drive it around the neighborhood. By the way, this is my neighborhood, guys. And I will be posting this on a blog spot, so remember that. Alright, three, two, one. Oh, are you, by the way, guys, subscribe to the, the, the channel so that um, you guys can, can get notified in any video that the blog spot makes. Not only that, here's the gas tank, and it only holds half a gallon or a quarter of a gallon of gas. Which isn't a lot, but it's good enough for traveling around the neighborhood. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's the problem, because it wouldn't start immediately. Choke. And that starts it, and this runs it, so... 